As you can see, I'm all dressed out in my swag. Happy 4th of July to you veterans and active duty and first responders and, and all the rest and all of America. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today on this video is lightning storms. As you can see, uh, Pedro and Katie are still hiding under the blankets from last night's horrible lightning storms. It looked like the fireworks had come a day early. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to talk about what you can do to minimize the damage that uh, might happen to your trailer from lightning storms. As I've said in many of my other videos, Mary and I have uh, managed a campground for over 14 years. With that, we have seen a lot and experienced a lot. Uh, one of the worst things that happen are lightning storms. A, they bring down trees, branches, power lines. Uh, it's the worst of all worlds. And many, many lightning storms uh, are extremely dangerous. You clear the pools, you get everybody undercover. Uh, what many people might not realize is that damage can happen to your trailer in the middle of a lightning storm. Over our 14 years, we've seen many trailers that get their complete electronics fried, their fried, uh, their refrigerator fried, their microwave fried, and uh, these are things you could really, really have uh, saved uh, from happening if you'd have done the right procedures uh, when the lightning storms hit. First thing you have to do is you have to judge how bad is a lightning storm, how close is it. Does it look horrible? Uh, truly, the first step you should do if you're really concerned about your unit is unplug it. Uh, most of your damage on lightning storms come from uh, the overhead power lines. Uh, usually the transformers in the area blow puts a huge power surge coming down the lines. And even if you have GFIs on it, uh, like some of your electronics, uh, it still has a tendency of frying it before the GFI kicks in. Uh, your refrigerator is built in, it's not on a GFI. Your microwave is built in, it's not on a GFI. So your safest bet on any major lightning storm that you're concerned about is unplug the trailer. Go on batteries for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, if you don't want to do that, uh, there are many steps that you do to minimize the losses. And I'll go through the different steps of we do. I very seldom unplug the trailer, but I unplug everything that A, I care about, and B, uh, probably would have uh, consequences, costly consequences. As I said, if a lightning strike happens in the area, it does one of two things. It hits your transformer, surges down your power lines, comes up your power cord, hits your trailer, and does some damage, all damage, any kind of damage. A second is a near miss. A near miss, uh, a tree nearby, again, the lightning gets charged, the, the ground gets charged, uh, your, your box is sitting right there, it's grounded into ground, your back feeds into your box uh, and, and it could back feed into your trailer on that way. So even if you're uh, even if you're not close to a tree, uh, still be wary of it. Uh, again, I'm going to go through the steps that we take under a, a normal storm. Again, last night was a phenomenal one. It was a lightning show of epic proportions. And uh, I'll go step by step of what Mary and I do. The first place I head to is my circuit breaker panel. Mine happens to be on the floor right inside the door. Uh, again, on a minor storm, I usually don't disconnect all my uh, uh, all my electricity. I still like lights on in the inside and so on. Uh, so what I usually do is I'll click the air conditioner off. Uh, it's one of your most expensive items in a trailer. You certainly want to uh, make sure that's salvaged. Uh, I'll leave the GFI on. That's already protected through the GFI system. Uh, I'll turn off the microwave, the hot water heater, the converter. So realistically, all I have is the GFIs on at this point. Uh, next, I'm going to head over to my refrigerator. My Cougar itself, again, I've told you many times, is 13 years old. 
Uh, with that, I don't have a dedicated circuit breaker for my refrigerator, so I could not go over to the circuit breaker panel and switch it off. Uh, you may or may not have that problem. So what I have to do on mine is I switch it over to gas. It's the best I can do. It takes the uh, electrical compressor out. Uh, it's using now when it's on gas, it's using a flame in lieu of an electric compressor on it. It still has electric on and off, but it'll at least minimize the damage if I have a strike. Again, I can tell you strongly, if you unhook the trailer, this won't be an issue. The next I'm going to go over and look at the microwave. The microwave itself, my power is off. That being said, my circuit breaker worked. I got it turned off. Third thing I'm going to do is unplug everything from the outlets in the kitchen. Uh, especially if you have a computer uh, uh, Dell system or a Apple, uh, definitely unplug it, untether it from the outlets. Unplug your uh, converters or your chargers because those can blow themselves. So I have checked, all of ours are turned Electron, off. Uh, my background uh, is in computers and electricity, so I do love my electronics. I have a 32 inch 4K television along with a uh, 4K. Uh, DVD player, a Bose sound system, a Xbox 360. So what I'm going to do in this case is I have everything in the back on a GFI. I'm just going to unplug the entire GFI strip. It takes everything that I, uh, I really hold dearly out of the electrical loop. So uh, I've done the best I've could. The bathroom uh, itself has no electricity in it. The bedroom is on the one GFI. I have nothing in there I have to be concerned about. So I've done the best I can for an electrical storm. Again, I've taken uh, most of my expensive electronics and disconnected them. I've taken most of my expensive appliances, disconnected them as best I could. And again, your best bet is just unhook the trailer for a while. But if you have to live with TV or something along that, that sort of nature, just make sure that uh, you turn off the things that are the most valuable. Again, uh, give me a thumbs up, like it. Uh, this is used from Outdoor Staycations. I wish you safe journeys.